Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video, guys, that we're going to talk about is very disturbing. It's even more disturbing because this is a mother. This, this woman here, her name is Eureka Black, 32, from Louisiana. She threw her babies over a bridge and into a river, killing one of them. If it wasn't for a phone call that the police had received saying that there was an infant floating in the Cross Lake, uh, near the Cross Lake Bridge, when they got there, you know, when patrol got there, they found another kid in the water and they rescued him. And, you know, once they got him to, you know, to the hospital and got to, you know, make to make sure that he was fine and they got to speaking to him and to, during the investigation, they find out that it was his own mother that threw him and his sibling in the water. I mean, this this is just ridiculous, guys. Uh, listen to this and then I'll come back. Project news unfolding on Cross Lake this afternoon, where a child was found dead and another is fighting for their life. The details of this case are disturbing. Police say a woman in her 30s threw the children off of a bridge into Cross Lake. Shreveport police were called around 11 this morning after getting reports of a child's body floating in the lake. That child was pronounced dead at the scene. A Shreveport Marine Patrol officer found another small child in the water. They were rushed to the hospital in serious condition. A third child was found safe. You know, we ask for the community's prayers and and just understanding right now. We will get more information out as we can. This is a tragedy, a, a true tragedy, and our, our, our law enforcement officers are hurting. What was more overwhelming was knowing that it was a baby um, that lost his life on today. And so I think about the ongoing trauma that the, that, that child's brother is going to feel. At this point, police will not confirm the relationship between the woman and the children. Police say she was taken into custody at the Texas state line. Fox 33's Darren Todd will have a full report coming up tonight at 930. Report police have identified the woman accused of throwing two of her children off a bridge, killing one of them. Investigators say the five year old was rescued from the water and was able to give police the information they needed to arrest the child's mother, 32 year old Eureka Black. An infant's body was recovered and a third child was later found unharmed. The mother faces charges of second degree murder and attempted second degree murder. The courts as a Caddo district judge has appointed a sanity commission to evaluate Eureka Black. She's the mother accused of throwing her two young sons off a bridge last Friday, killing 10-month-old Joshua Black and injuring five-year-old Elijah Black. Judge Donald Hathaway Jr. set an October 29th hearing date for the commission to report. Black's court-appointed attorney asked for the Sanity Commission. It's one of several motions Elizabeth Gibson filed this week. She said Black does not have the mental capacity to assist in her defense and did not have the ability to tell right from wrong when the offense happened. One of her other motions asks for Black to be released without bond or at least a reduced bond. Hathaway did not set one on Tuesday. Joshua's funeral will be held at noon October 9th at Lincoln Memorial Park. Visitation is the day before from 1 to 8 p.m. at Good Samaritan Funeral Home. Yeah, it's super sad. And, you know, now the judge has ordered a sanity commission hearing for her because her lawyer is now trying to say that, you know, she's not mentally stable and all of this. Girl, Bob, I'm not I'm not buying what you're selling. I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe. She was saying enough. She knew exactly what she was doing. Had they not gotten that call about the infant floating uh, at the Cross Lake near that bridge, that five-year-old would have not made it either. The, the, they would be, be it would be two funerals instead of one. So I'm not buying what what this mother's trying to sell. And I, um, what they say, she goes to court on October 9th. I will be keeping you guys posted up on that, we'll, so we can come back and um, talk about that. Yeah, because I don't think that she should be given any any opportunity to be able to. Uh, be, you know, go to some type of mental hospital or anything like that. She should be sent to prison for the rest of her life 
for what she did. She should never, ever be able to be given the opportunity to see daylight, to be outside around, you know, to have a life again. And like, I just, it's just, this is mind boggling when I see stuff like this. I just don't get it. You know, and I'm gonna try to see if I can look and see what's going on with the father. Who is the dad? You know, I mean, I know sometimes, you know, maybe as a single parent, you know, I get it. Sometimes we get overwhelmed. <clears throat> you know, we may get overwhelmed and things like that. But what she did, no. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I cannot buy into anything like that. Not a mother that does anything like that. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And so with that being said, oh, um, the, the, one of the good things though, you guys that did happen is one of, you know, the son, he had a birthday and the police and the community all came together and did like a drive through birthday for him. So take a look at this. <laughs> So that at least that was a wonderful thing that was able to happen for this young kid, you know, through this cloud of destruction that he has to go through, because we all know this is going to be a journey for this kid. But at least, you know, all of those, you know, gifts and, you know, all the love pouring on him, you know, we'll just keep praying. Let's all just keep praying for him and, you know, and the. Uh, the family. You know, let's pray for the family too, because it's gonna this is gonna be rough. But I will be keeping you guys posted. I will be coming back with an update on this story. Let's continue to pray for this this kid, you know, this family. And thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be sure to see when I drop new videos. And go follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And my Facebook at Sister Girl Talk TV. And a sidebar, I will be adding the links to the articles in my description box in case you guys want to go over there and read the full articles and watch the full videos.